I'm in a new province and I just finished up the league with Sculptor Skies. When we can get our combo pieces assembled and going, we can explode onto the board and rally for the win. As always, you can attack with all of your tiny flyers and whatever match you want by clicking on the timestamp in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the league. Match one, game one of Sculptor Skies. And this is pretty awkward, but if we if we run into we run into one of our accelerators we should be in good shape and if worse comes to worse we can run one of these out hopefully in the two draw steps we'll have we will have the opportunity to find one of our cantripping artifacts and we can start digging for accelerators with the mechanists if things go really bad but i'm gonna keep i think with this much mana we should be okay we'll play seat of the synod first our opponent might assume we're on something like affinity and we just tried another mechanist it's not great but it is what it is. This deck's a little bit clunky. We're playing a lot of four drops. What is up? Hello from Canada. How are you doing? Opponent's going to cycle a secluded step to start it off. All right. Cool. Um, the Boros Monarch, okay. I, I don't think we should... I think this game's going to be long, so I don't really want to stymie my mana production. We are going to have to pitch in a hand size here. We'll pitch... Uh, we're going to give Sanctum Gargoyle a target, so we'll actually pitch probably pitch a mechanist here which kind of sucks it might give us or give our opponent an idea <laughs> of what we're doing so wheat but these skyfishers are looking really awkward especially where we haven't hit any accelerators or ways to pick up our uh or any permanents that we really want to pick up so our opponent's going a little slow we're gonna go a bit slow as well and uh and not hurt our mana production these skyfishers are really good in tandem with these creatures as well so let's just keep uh, developing our mana base. Pretty awkward to ever not do anything for this many turns in the format. Okay, so I think I'm going to play Seat here, and we're going to go ahead, go ahead and run out Mechanist, especially before Gargoyle. We'll give Gargoyle a few more targets. Our opponent might be on some weird, like, combo deck or something. They haven't done anything yet, which is definitely bizarre. They could just be flooding out, but uh, we're hoping to find an Ethereum Sculptor here for sure. We just find another Mechanist. Not terrible, but not exactly what we hoped for either, so we'll pass. They might bolt this, and then next turn we'll uh we'll sanctum gargoyle back one of our one of our flyers. Not a big deal that they lightning bolt there. Hopefully they don't find Bajuka Bog. I know that this deck occasionally oh okay, alright. Let's get moving. So we found Ethereum Sculptor, that's awesome. Um so we're gonna start trying to take advantage of it right away. So I'll play a an island. And we'll run out Ethereum Sculptor, and then I'm going to run out um, Mechanist, because Sanctum Gargoyle can get Ethereum Sculptor back, which is a lot more important than uh, which is a lot more important than another Mechanist. And hopefully now that our artifacts are so cheap, our opponent won't be able to kind of get around that. So let's just start committing a thousand things to the board, and uh, against this deck we're going to have to find our, um, our one of Electricery or something. Looks like our opponent is on all removal over there. I think with the game going this slowly, you'd think they would want to hold on to their burn spells, but not a big deal. Let's see what this is. Just going to crack the clue right away. Four cards in hand. Still got lots of cards in hand. Lots of fairy mechanists in the bin. But once once these are a little bit cheaper, it might be less of a cost to get our core skyfisher going with our sanctum gargoyles. All right, there's a warden of Evo's Isle. That's interesting. Um, so actually, I think I am going to play that. That'll make all of this stuff less expensive, which makes for a lot more interesting things to happen. So we'll play Warden, and then we'll play out Sanctum Gargoyle. It'll get back Ethereum Sculptor, and that'll make everything very cheap from here on in. So we'll play out Sanctum Gargoyle. Sanctum Gargoyle gets back Ethereum Sculptor, and pass turn. Because that is all we can do. Uh, I'm not sure, Eastmokums. Um... So probably there's like a little gear icon in the bottom corner. It doesn't look like I'm dropping any frames or anything, so it could just be an issue on your end. Um, so there's a little like, yeah, there's a little settings kind of gear there in the bottom right-hand corner of the player. That's probably where it is. Ooh, opponent does have their one of Bajuka Bog. That's a little unfortunate, but I'm glad we got this uh, Sanctum Gargoyle going. I guess we won't have the luxury of skyfishering it. They're going to get rid of, rid of the Warden, but that's not a huge deal. That's why we have our Fragmentizes. So we'll play Ethereum Sculptor. And we're going to get to play a couple of Prisms here to draw some cards. We'll get our own Skyfishers down. I might want to serve with this Sanctum Gargoyle. 
Um, so we're gonna do we're gonna draw once because we might find our one of yeah shield mage. Okay, that's awesome. So we're only gonna give, leave up enough mana for shield mage here, and we'll go to combat, attack with Sanctum Gargoyle, and next turn we should have a pretty insane turn. And we have protection from any of their damage based removals, so we'll just pass for now. Oh, here we go, gang. <laughs> Things are going to get crazy. So we're going to leave up Shield Mage for a while. We'll probably be kind of cautious, commit a few more flyers. There's a Skyfisher of their own, sure. That's why we've got Rally the Peasants to power through those. So they'll probably pick up Thraven Inspector here, I'm assuming. Maybe they'll give us back our Warden. I don't know. Take out Ethereum Sculptor. But they might just like get back Bog and hold on to it. It's interesting. We'll see what they decide to do. <laughs> It's pretty cool having Shield Mage because we can we can attack in with uh, Sanctum Gargoyle. If they double block, we can just flash this in, and uh, and kill the Glintock. I guess I guess they could like bolt this in response, but we still get to try and attack with it. So they're gonna pick up Thraven Inspector, recommit Thraven Inspector, gonna be able to get their engine online. Here comes a couple more mana, one of which is black. Interesting, black red. It's probably gonna crack this. Yeah, maybe find another Thraven Inspector. Nope, just lands. Sure. Here comes Glintock. Well, that's all right. Don't mind that. Wouldn't mind finding like a journey for the Skyfisher for sure. We'll just pass. There's more Sky Scanners. Okay, so let's start playing all of our Flyers. Um, it kind of sucks that we don't have Warden of Evo's Isle here, but we will. We can play two Skyfishers picking up Prophetic Prisms here, which isn't bad. So we'll commit a bunch of. Sky Fishers, just where they have bigger bodies. And they're going to give us some better turns attacking in the future, plus to block this Glintock. So we'll worry about doing that appropriately this turn. And again, we'll still leave up our Shield Mage, just in case. Um, yeah, so we won't attack into this Sky Fisher. There really isn't any reason. And we'll pick up a Prophetic Prism. And our opponent knows we can cast these for one, so they're probably assuming we're up to something over here. Um, but yeah, so for now we'll just pass and yeah, probably be able to start getting attacks in next turn. Opponent only has two cards in hand, so nothing to be too afraid of. The more birds they find, the more they can get their value engine going, but they don't have any prophetic prisms or anything going on. So it's pretty lucky for us. Now let's go super wide and win the game. Opponent's going to attack. Maybe, probably not. Got pretty good blocks. Nope. They're just going to pass. Cool. So we draw a land, so we'll start by drawing with our Sky Scanners, because they also commit bodies to the board to attack with. <laughs> That's what I'm going for. <laughs> it gets jankier. <laughs> they thought I was a combo deck. <laughs> I kind of am. So we'll play out our Sky Scanner. That's going to give us the opportunity. Oh, there's Rally the Peasants. Okay, so let's get another Sky Scanner down. Um, and we actually might be able to line up a win for next turn. We probably are going to do an, make an attack here. <laughs> um, and just see what our opponent does. Oh man, Mechanist. I don't. I still don't think that's a reason to go down Shield Mage. Um, especially where they can just like point removal at this. I mean, you know what though? Like it really isn't, it might just be worth it to commit another attacker, which I think is what I'm going to do. And this could draw us into another Ethereum Sculptor so that if we can't win with Rally, flashback Rally next turn, then we will, uh, we'll be in great shape. Yeah. To just keep drawing cards and committing attackers. So we'll get another Ethereum Sculptor and I think, I think we might attack here. Yeah. I think I'm going to. They can take out one of our flyers, but we're going to sneak in some critical damage. And uh, if they want to block, yeah, so we're at least going to get a Glintock out of this exchange. And they're going to take four. So the, the Rally of the Peasants next turn should be enough to uh, to do it, but we'll see. Because it's plus four, plus four, so... Oh, there's a Journey. Okay, well, we couldn't defend against Journey with our Shield Mage anyway. Yep. Journey something. Journey Sanctum Gargoyle. Okay. Sure. Three cards in hand, so I can't. I don't know what they would be sitting on unless it's like Palace Sentinels. Um, 
But yeah, if we can get this out of the way, like if we can find one of our own journeys, we'd be in pretty good shape. So turn comes back to us. Play a one mana Ethereum Sculptor, pretty good. And now all of our Prophetic Prisms can trip for free. Let's draw a card off Prophetic Prism. Draw a card off Prophetic Prism. Draw a card off Prophetic Prism. And we can serve pretty fearlessly here, especially where um, we can like flash in Shield Mage or uh, Rally the Peasants to trade with one of their creatures. And we can also let stuff go so that uh, Sanctum Gargoyle will have a target. So we're actually, we're going to go to combat here and we're going to attack with all of our flyers. And unless they don't make blocks that allow us to win. All right, so what is this? Plus four, plus four to all of these. So that would only be 15. Oh, that's exaxes. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? One, so five, 10, 16. So they go to one. Okay, so I don't want to do that here. We'll just let our, uh, our mechanist go. And then we'll get it back with gargoyle. So we will get Mechanist back with Gargoyle, and we're gonna leave up um, we're gonna leave up Shield Mage here. Just in case they have some way to like Galvanic Blast our flyers and get around us. So Sanctum Gargoyle comes down, gets back Fairy Mechanist. We'll recast Fairy Mechanist, do some digging. Yes, we would love to use that ability. So we will do that. And this could allow us to cantrip again. And they're at 13. Ooh, okay, another Ethereum Sculptor. That's interesting, but I actually think I'm going to get Sky Scanner here because I can cast it for one and commit another attacker to the board. It's going to make Rally the Peasants just a lot better. So we'll play Sky Scanner, and we should have the Rally win next turn. <laughs> Our opponent says they love this deck. <laughs> Let's see if I can't get them a deck list. What's up, Matador? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have <laughs> yeah let's not uh <laughs> i like it too so yeah so let's see if they want to try to try to electric or us or something because we have the shield mage and we've got the rally the peasants to win the game so they're gonna faithless looting okay <laughs> what's up terry i'm glad you're enjoying it and what's up matt welcome sorry for being late man i know you like to be here right off the hop all right, so let's see what they can do. Two cards in hand. One is a land, so two unknowns and a land. I think we got them. And they're just going to keep committing stuff. They're going to keep looting. Okay. I know that this deck sometimes plays Prismatic Strands in the main deck, and I guess something like... Um, I guess something like Battle Screech could have been bad, but I think we got them here, especially where they're tapped out. Oh, they have Strands in the bin. Okay. Can we win through Strands? with Rally the Peasants. Can they choose artifacts with this? No. Yeah, so they would choose white. So maybe we can't win here. Prismatic Strands in the bin is problematic. Yeah, we have two different colors plus colorless. There's a journey. Okay, so let's journey. I don't know if there's even any reason to blow the Rally the Peasants here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we still have enough mana to do it. So let's journey one of the, the sky fishers. And we'll see what they prismatic strands on. But I think we've got them. I think if I journey one of these sky fishers and attack with everything, I don't think... Because these represent 15 alone. Yeah, so we got them. All right, so let's go to combat. Attack with everything. They'll go to blocks. Turn off my auto yield so that I can do this properly. Um, and then we will rally the peasants to... Oh, I can't flash it back. Can I? One, two, three. And then I have one, two, three, four. No, because I journeyed, I can't flash it back. But I am going to rally the peasants here regardless. And... Oh, no, I can. Okay, I'm good. And we will flash back rally the peasants. <laughs> you tuned into some key nonsense. We're about to win with sky scanners that I cast for free off of Ethereum sculptors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we got them. All right. 
that that was really slow though like i don't expect their deck to get off to a start that slow we can bring in serrated arrows that helps us trade up with their flyers and we'll bring in some fragmentizes it can get their lands early and it can also uh it can also blow up their stuff it can blow up their journey to nowheres so i'm gonna go down to the journeys i can probably bring one journey back in i just don't want to increase the chance of whiffing off of fairy mechanist here um so i might take out aether spellbomb they can get a lot of value out of their creatures entering the battlefield and uh and so i think we're gonna sideboard like that uh we're we're really oh echoing truth for the core sky fishers of course so actually yeah so i'll go back down journey and i'll probably actually go down one of the wardens as well they're so easy for them to remove and they're kind of clunky um i think we're okay like we have the the shield mage and we've got ways to get our stuff back out of our graveyard so we can just keep two from wanting them on or we can yeah they, they'll they'll end up getting ooh all right so we've got an accelerant start now we just have to hope to draw into our expensive stuff the typical kind of ramp deck problem opponent on turn one three inspector a lot faster all right well we have stuff to ramp into let's see if they have infinite removal for our accelerants stuck on one land maybe maybe they're stuck on one land nah it was a bamboozle okay here comes skyfisher found our echoing truth for the skyfishers when that matters as well so we will ethereum sculptor pass the turn we'll play a warden of evo style if they're going to take time to remove all of our accelerants then eventually we'll just start playing our flyers and we'll get these back with our sanctum gargoyles eventually so we'll see if our opponent wants to like spend time casting a journey or something here or they might even crack this looking for their land drop no okay taking their time themselves fragmentize that's interesting um not something we want to be doing right now so we're just going to run out warden and hope to mechanist into some stuff that uh that goes banana sandwich on them and we'll pass so i think we're gonna see a, a lightning bolt on something here pretty obviously we'll see which one it is all right no problem we can still cast our mechanist next turn and yeah maybe i'll get rid of all our accelerants but Ooh, battle screech okay that's pretty bad but we got this echoing truth to answer it um i don't really want to spend my turn doing that next turn but i might have to yeah i'm gonna have to all right so we're actually just going to echoing truth your bird token get rid of those play a tranquil cove go to combat and attack with sculptor all right let's see if they've got a follow-up battle screech doesn't seem like it maybe they do oh man that's a lot of battle screeching <laughs> boros monarch can get off the ground pretty dang quick with that many battle screeches going so we'll have to find another one of our echoing truths a little awkward i guess these can uh these can take care of them in the short term so let's see if we can't find an artifact to uh to bounce with our sky fisher here so we'll play mechanist get a look uh i don't mind sky scanner here especially where gargoyle isn't getting anything so i'll get sky scanner and we're actually going to cast that this turn um yeah so we'll play this cast a sky scanner because if we do have to trade it off with a bird token then we can eventually um hmm. yeah we can eventually get it back with the sanctum gargoyle here we are trying to grind out boros monarch <laughs> Ooh, sanctifiers so what will be the target for that sure so get a mechanist if they get to bounce that any number of times then we're in trouble uh i don't think i'm gonna block this time there's another mechanist okay so i'm gonna play a land try for another mechanist see if we can't get another sculptor here ah just more sky scanners okay put our one of rally to the bottom that's not fantastic um and i think we gotta get skyfisher down just where it's a better blocker hey he was in the water thanks so much yeah oh it's cool yeah man it's uh it's that medium that medium life that sky scanner wants to live <laughs> uh so let's get skyfisher down it's just a really good blocker um we're gonna bounce our sky scanner we'll recast those next turn and uh, i should have attacked with it so yep so we're down we're down one point of damage if we lose by one i'm 100 taking the blame so our opponent will get cantripping with a vial sure pretty awkward if they journey this we definitely don't want that all right so they're gonna make it so that can't block so that's one two three four five so they might have bolt in hand 
I'm assuming they've got bolt. They're going for it and they've got bolt. So let's find out. So we'll block like this, block like this, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that would put us to one. Um, and if we block like this, we would take one, two, three, four, five. So we're still, we're dead to bolt either way. So I'm not going to sacrifice my creatures. Um, so we're just going to block like this and uh, yeah, and see if they got us. It would take kind of a miracle to get out of this, but <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see if they got a burn spell. Oh, there's another echoing truth. Speaking of miracles to get out of this. <laughs> um, okay, so let's try that. Let's try to echoing truth these bird tokens <laughs> and see if they're going to bolt their own bird. They don't. Okay, so let's commit a couple more sky scanners. Draw some cards. We're at one, and they're a lightning bolt deck. So I'm not super hopeful here, but we'll see what we can do. There's another Sculptor. Get going next turn. We'll return to Tranquil Cove here for the life gain. And uh, and we're just going to pass, I think. We want to be able to fight through as much as they can throw at us. Um, but yeah, they, they're a lightning bolt deck. I don't think it's going to be long. Yeah, all right. They got us. Cool. Let's go to game three. Uh, I guess that's reason enough to bring in Hydro Blasts. We didn't see any journeys or anything like that. Serrated Arrows seems like it would have been a little bit weak there, but still okay. Um, the fun ofs are looking a little worse than I would hope they would be, but I think I think I'm almost okay. Prismatic Strands is probably too slow. Buying back either spell bombs to deal with stuff, I don't like that. So yeah, we're just gonna try it again. That many battle screeches is whew, it's trouble. <laughs> We gotta be faster than that. We're, it's pretty explosive. Like we can have an insane board by like turn six if we draw right. But uh, oh man, I should update these games as well. So we do have one game win on the board. You know, like we took down Boros Monarch in game one. They kind of let us, kind of let us get away with it. We love to play first, so let's do that. Um, yeah, pretty awkward, but keepable, I think. So we'll play an Ancient Den and pass. Hope they don't like go turn one Gorilla Shaman or something. I guess if they do, it'll just like <laughs> chance or get back. And they're gonna pass. So we will do something that's more akin to their start <laughs> and play an Alchemist Vial and pass. And next turn we'll Skyfisher it back and uh, hopefully Skyfisher it back and move on. Glad to have this too. This can fog their. Uh, their skyfishers to get us in for lethal and we can keep like cracking this and buying it back it's an awesome draw keep cracking it and buying it back with sanctum gargoyles when we're kind of doing one of those wild combo turns opponent is also going to alchemist vial we draw another artifact land pretty sweet so okay so how much does thought cast cost it costs three less here now so i don't think it's worth it to uh i don't think it's worth it to go thought casting here so we'll actually pick up alchemist vial it was a little bit awkward i probably should have played a karoo land there but we have lots of untapped lands to keep us flowing we'll see if they want to kill this seems like it <laughs> yep and there's a glintock to pick up their vial and we're gonna f6 right through opponent developing their mana base um we don't really need this pilgrim's eye yet i kind of want to cast this fairy mechanist as weird as that sounds i think that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna cast mechanist here um we're in no hurry to cast this thought cast uh, just a prophetic prism kind of unfortunate putting these two to the bottom but that is what that is the price you pay for playing two for ones <laughs> hey what's up senrez how you doing welcome welcome to our janku banku stream so now our opponent has to make the choice like if they want to start making attacks then we can start attacking them back and we're a rally the peasants deck i don't know if they necessarily are um oh is this battle screech serrated arrows okay so they've similar to us have decided to bring in serrated arrows um if we block here we force them to tap this hmm. i don't really know if that's worth it no i think even attacking with a one one or making them use this multiple times on our uh on our mechanist is pretty good so we're gonna thought cast for one here feels pretty good so if we can find an accelerator we find our own serrated arrows that's pretty sweet um, so I think I will just take my time to commit that now. And I imagine that will cause them to shrink down our mechanist. Um, I think they're just going to do that anyway. Um, <laughs> that is funny. It is funny. Our opponent's got a little bit more time than I do, so I probably shouldn't humor them in the chat very much. 
They're pretty good at playing fast. What are you working on? Sorry. I'm not running fetches. No. A lot of prophetic prisms and pilgrim's eyes and stuff. I guess pilgrim's eye is going to be my impression of a fetch. Yep. So risking a point of damage there just in case my opponent decided to battle screech. They did not. There's another glen talk. Okay. So we're going to get to work shrinking those down. Glad to see our opponent using two serrated arrows. All right. So we'll shrink this down in F6. Turn comes back. The Boris Garrison. Man, they have a lot of cards in hand. <laughs> so shrink down this Glintock while I'm thinking about it. Um, play out our Warden of Evo Sile. It's going to make everything less expensive. We'll play out Sky Scanner, draw a card. Azorius Chancery back a. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. So we'll play Seed of the Side on past turn. That would have been an opportunity for us to get her to tap land, but gotta play fast here. So we'll see what they want to do. Probably going to journey this. Hopefully we'll find a Fragmentize. With all the bottoming I do. Yeah, I guess so. We kind of like, we kind of dig through our deck really quickly. So like, it's uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just, they're going to attack. So I don't, they're not going to do anything with their serrated arrows on the sky scanner yet. And here comes the battle screech. That's a, that is a beating. So we've really got to find our echoing truth soon and hopefully put an end to that. While we have a serrated arrows, I guess a sky fisher would be okay. Oh, dang, deck. Deck, man, you're coming through. Okay, so we will... Oh, they can kill it with their serrated arrows. Uh, all right, so we're actually going to just cantrip here. Um, leaving up Echoing Truth. Hopefully we can get them to tap it so that they can't kill one of the birds in response to our Echoing Truth. Um, we'll pick up our... Yeah, actually... Hmm. I think I'm going to shrink down this Glintock. We'll pick up our serrated arrows with our core Skyfisher. Running a little low on time here. Uh, we'll play a Chancery, pick up an Island, and pass. We really have to be wary about them shrinking anything down here. Uh, I'll try to... Mm, yeah, no. Let's not attack. I don't think that's worth it. So we'll see if they want to use Serrated Arrows. They don't. Man, that is the tech right there. All right, there goes the trigger. So I'm going to try to Echoing Truth these birds. Um, now that they can't kill it in response, they might use a Lightning Bolt here. No, they let it go. Okay, sure. Shrink down the Skyfisher, play another Glint Hawk. That'll pick up a Serrated Arrows to reset. Pretty dece. <laughs> Trying to make four color combo work. Is that the uh, the Quicksilver Dagger one? Quicksilver Dagger combo? Um, and I don't, maybe we'll double block here. Like, I don't really see why we wouldn't. This could be like an Electricery blowout. <laughs> I guess it's one less target for their Serrated Arrows. They're going to play another Battle Screech. Ugh. Our opponent is on the Battle Screech draw. It's going to be tough to beat, man. It's going to be tough to beat this many Battle Screeches. Okay. So we'll have to find more Echoing Truths right away. Um, we only have one more to find. There's a Sculptor that kind of helps in an indirect way. Um, we'll play a Prophetic Prism. Oh, nothing. Okay. So we'll replay our Serrated Arrows. We will play out a Pilgrim's Eye which is also going to eat a Serrated Arrows counter. Uh, that'll play out. We'll get an island, pass the turn, and we'll see how we go here. Oh, to be, to be the excellent combo deck that it can be, yes. 100%. More Battle Screeches? Oh, that's scary. <laughs> no, it's Serrated Arrows. Okay, fair enough. Yep, our opponent exploding onto the board, as we'd expect. All right, so we will block with Pilgrim's Eye here. Uh, we will block with Skyfisher here. This is going to force a bit of action, so we'll see what happens here. They're going to Serrated Arrows that, so we will Serrated Arrows this. Serrated Arrows Wars. The loser Glintock will go to nine, and they've probably got like a non-zero number of, uh, of Galvanic Blasts and stuff, so we have to be wary of that. We'll play a Pilgrim's Eye, going to do a bit more thinning. This isn't really what we want to see here, but... It's a 1-1, so it can at least contend with our opponent's board occasionally. Uh, we'll pass this time. Probably Serrated Arrowsing the Glintock. We're getting grindy here, gang. I think I'm going to attack with the Ethereum Sculptor. It doesn't have any, <laughs> any reason to stay back here. We'll pass. <laughs> 
Mountain, what? <laughs> Rally the peasants, man. Got to get mountainous to get those peasants together. <laughs> they cycle a secluded step, four cards in hand. Serrated arrows online, they're going to Faithless Looting. That seems pretty good. Wouldn't mind having one of those bad boys in here, but we, sh we should be able to cantrip off. We just haven't found too many of our sky scanners or mechanists, so we're having a little bit of a clunky draw. One good um, Sanctum Gargoyle could kind of get us started here. So our opponent's going to attack. Yep. Um, we will just put a counter on this, and I think we're going to save our Core Sky Fisher. We might be able to uh, to get it back in action. We're going to go to five, dangerously close to being within burn range. But it is what it is. There's Palace Sentinels. Okay. Yep. And we're going to trade the Monarchy off for a second here, I think. But they're just digging towards a burn spell to kill us here, so I don't think that's an issue. So we're just going to fog the Palace Sentinels. Go to combat. I'm going to kill our Sculptor. Sure. Yep. Okay. So they are going to be able to defend the Monarchy. That's pretty awkward. Um, looks like we're just going to have to kill this. Karoo back an island and say go. We've hit a lot of lands for being a 20 land deck. But I guess we have... Um, yeah, Repopulate's a really cool card. We have been... Uh, we have been Pilgrim's Eyeing instead of doing anything else, so that could be why. Our opponent's going to get in here. This is lethal, so we have to chump with this, but I imagine they'll find their instant speed burn spell to close it out here soon. And have you got it? Is that game? Flashback Faithful Looting, looking to get it over with, but I think I think Boros Monarch can just grind this out. So there it is. No lands. Awesome. <laughs> so yeah, we got to mulligan this. We can do okay on two lands. Oh, but will we find it? Will we find it, though? <laughs> if we get a scry, we get a draw. We're pretty bad on a mold of five. We just got to find one land. We get two draw steps. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, this is, this is close. We have an accelerator, and we have stuff to get stuff back out of the graveyard. Could be sketchy keep of the day. I'm going to keep. No, spell bomb to the bottom. I guess it wouldn't be too bad because we could cycle it, but I'm going to keep. We have two draw steps to find a land. Hopefully we find it. Opponent, is this Boros Monarch again? Holy frig. It's going to be Boros Monarch dot Knight. Oh, thought cast. That's pretty far away from a land. <laughs> All right, come on. <laughs> come on, land. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, deck. You can do this. Off to a convincing Boros Monarch start for our opponent. Yep. Come on, land. Land! Oh! Got there. Okay, so if... <laughs> they can't really have removal for our Ethereum Sculptor here, but, you know, it is what it is. So we'll play Sculptor. We'll see if they remove it. But we still have Prophetic Prism to help us out here. Thought cast eventually. Hit a land just on time. Playing perfectly as usual. Yep. Of course they do. If our opponent... If we're going to have the perfects, then I should only expect our opponent has the perfects as well. So our opponent only has two cards in hand, but not for long. We are seeing Boros Monarch in full action here. All right, so there you yep, go, getting in for one. Nothing we can do about that. So we got to find more acceleration or just more alchemist files with this. We do find a land, that's okay. So this now costs two less, not as little as we'd like it to. We can eventually get Ethereum Sculptor back with Sanctum Gargoyle, so that's not the end of the world. The, the value thing against these guys isn't too bad, especially where we can... Oh, is this another Glintock? No, just another Thraven Inspector. Okay. So once they get their mana developed a bit, they do stand to draw quite a few cards. We're not going to play any relevant blockers next turn, <laughs> unfortunately. We're going to play Sky Scanners to try to find the rest of our land drops. And we find more Sanctum Gargoyles. Wonderful. <laughs> um, but they got the pressure on now, man. Boros Monarch indeed. So a number of burn spells for our opponent. We are just going to chump this Glintock. It'd be nice if they did kill this. Um, but just like going... The extra two points of damage is worth it, especially where we can just commit this again next turn. Um, we don't want to get too close to burn range. All right, so we found another land. That's good. So we'll play a good blocker in... Uh, Let's play Sanctum Gargoyle because it can get back Ethereum Sculptor and that can help us start doing our thing again next turn. So we'll get back Ethereum Sculptor and pass the turn, hopefully finding some more artifacts to make this Thought Cast better. 
Um, and it can block Glint Hawk unless they choose to remove it, which it looks like they're going to. Nope, just Prophetic Prism. Okay. So our opponent hasn't found any more bolts yet. We should be able to stymie the beats. Rip stymieing the beats. <laughs> yeah, it is it is a little awkward to uh, to run into it back, back to back all the time. But our, we can just loop Sanctum Gargoyles. Like, they can remove them all they want. Um, if we draw a land here, that would be sweet because we can go Sculptor Gargoyle or Sculptor Mechanist. And Trading Mechanists, no, we can't. Okay. So Sculptor Skyscanner isn't going to be the play. We're just going to run out another Sanctum Gargoyle to get back our Sanctum Gargoyle. <laughs> We're at seven, a dangerously low life total. Our opponent's going to be able to attack us for five, and if they have another burn spell, we lose. But that's it, man. That's it. Sometimes your opponent draws real good. They haven't even cracked any of these yet. Yep, Prophetic Prism. I think they're, they realize if they find a removal spell, they win. So we'll see if they do. Bolt does it in a couple of ways. Yeah, this deck's nuts. And I think it's actually our worst matchup because they're doing something really similar to us in that they're two for one with all of their creatures. Um, so I think it's all about who just starts, who gets going faster. Ethereum Sculptor and Warden let us, uh, let us get them sometimes, but not today. All right. Mulliganing against Boros Monarch, apparently not a winning strategy. So let's bring in our Echoing Truths, we'll bring in our Serrated Arrows, and we'll bring in our Fragmentizes. Not bringing in Hydroblast because, like I said, we're looking to two for one of them anyway. We'll take out a couple of Journeys, and a Spell Bomb, and a Warden, and I might want to take out my last Journey here. I guess they slowly peck away at my opponent's board, but I don't really want that. <laughs> that's true that's true that's what i'm all about man we're trying i'm trying as about as hard as i can to make sky scanner good <laughs> which uh you know an admirable pursuit at best <laughs> we'll see if we can't get there with them i would like to win a match i think if boros monarch is our worst matchup and we hit three boros monarch like we hit three um delver last week then we're going to be in trouble. It, it's interesting. The Delver matchup is interesting with this deck because we can trade off with all of their stuff and then like start buying it back. We have really good blockers, so they only have hard counters to hit most of our stuff. Um, they can you know start affecting our cantrips um, once they have a couple fairies on board, but we should be able to peck that off with our journeys and things like that. Thanks, Windows. Just you know, being super awkward. We would love to play first. Hand is not great, but we have two Ethereum Sculptors, so let's keep it. And hope our opponent doesn't just bolt these into oblivion straight away. So play a Tranquil Cove. We'll get down Ethereum Sculptor. And then next turn, we'll just play the second copy of Sculptor. Hopefully, we can get away with it pretty quick. Opponent pretty heavy on the Cycling Lands. So kind of an interesting interesting take on Monarch. So we'll play Sculptor, pass the turn. Can't imagine they don't. I think it's going to be like Bolt, Thraben Inspector, <laughs> if I could guess. And Bolt, bolt this and miss your land drop. <laughs> Sure. Ah, dang it. So bolt this Thraven Inspector. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so things haven't gone perfect for them. We'll see if they have more removal for our Ethereum Sculptors. We'll eventually get a Gargoyle down, and things might be okay. Yep, there's Thraven Inspector. And have you another Bolt opponent. Galvanic Blast unkicked or whatever still does it, but... Mm, kind of weird for them to just leave up two mana. This is kind of sweet with their bolts and stuff like that. But I don't think we have time to just like sit around waiting for them. We got to draw, our, get our land drops. We have to hit more accelerators. Ooh, okay. So that's, that's spicy. But they could start removing them pretty quick here. So we'll play on another Sculptor. If we can leave this up at some point, that would be awesome. But I don't know that we'll have that luxury, so we'll pass. Hopefully they don't find any more removal for our Sculptors. We're going to get to start Thought Casting next turn, too. Um, I'd like to leave up Shield Mage, if possible. And I guess we can start Gargoyling stuff back, too. Um, I don't think so, because these, like, these trade with most of their removal spells anyway. So our opponent's going to Battle Screech. That's not a huge issue, because we have our Echoing Truths. Um, it was in that one match, I guess. <laughs> and our opponent's going to pass. Find another Sanctum Gargoyle. So we'll cast Sanctum Gargoyle. Pretty good blocker in the air. It's going to buy back our Ethereum Sculptor. Undo our opponent's work with the removal. And we just have to pass here. So we're a little stuck. 
we're a little bit stuck. Not going to trade a Sculptor with a, uh, a Bird token. Pretty good flyer. I guess they might have answers to it, but we can just keep Sanctum gargoyling, like, gargoyling it back. Yep. And Gargoyles only cost one mana now. Or they will. <laughs> but I get it's good for them to even get this damage in. Yep. Yep. No, man, we make it very inexpensive. <laughs> uh, it's not fair. They're they're barely drawing cards and they still have all the answers. It's what you gotta do, I guess. How you gotta beat this deck. So we find a fragmentize, it's not bad. So we will fragmentize this, get back our sculptor, and we will <laughs> play another sculptor, <laughs> just rebuilding our board, um, potentially dying to flyers, pass the turn. <laughs> and they may keep answering them. We're stuck on land, so we are fairly dependent on them, um, but I'd much rather their burn spells go at sculptors than at our face. So next turn is going to be Gargoyle to get back Gargoyle, and then, yep, a bunch of birds, sure. These can also attack, which is relevant. And we'll see what our opponent plays. I'd love to be able to start leaving this up, but we just do not have that luxury right now. We're trying to grind it out. Sky scanners are free now, <laughs> so are cantripping artifacts. So Mechanist might actually be a better play next turn while we have our full board of accelerators going. Just a land, yep. And they're going to pass, okay. Ooh, rally the peasants. Well, we may get it here, gang. We may. Don't want to be cocky or anything. I actually think I should... I think I should thought cast here. I think thought casting a couple times, making sure we start hitting our land drops, is way more important. All right, cool. So we have an untap land now. For what it's worth. But we don't have any... That, like, that doesn't really help us. I don't want to thought cast again without paying, playing a flying blocker. Secluded step looking real awkward here. Um, but we will. We're gonna run out secluded step. It's gonna help us develop our mana base for next turn, and we're gonna run out sanctum gargoyle to start blocking these birds, and get back sanctum gargoyle. Just have blockers ad nauseum, and we'll go to combat, and we're gonna attack with the sculptors. Because now that we have Rally in hand, we just have to start spamming the board with Flyers, and hopefully our uh, hopefully our Rally the Peasants will get us there. So opponent takes two. They still have a bunch of cards in hand. <laughs> We've luckily seen a couple of Bolts. They're going to Journey our Gargoyle, sure. Yep. Bird Beats continue. So do Thraven Inspector Beats. And they might be holding their Galvanic Blast to kill us now, too. Is this just like two blasts game? Well, they, it's not turned on yet, so that's that's kind of relevant. But we're gonna we're gonna have to pump them. we're gonna have to step up the tempo here pretty good. So we'll play we'll cast Thought Cast, because we can currently just cast everything in our hand anyway. Skyfisher, that's interesting. It still costs two mana. But I guess we're not doing anything else. So we will Skyfisher back our Alchemist Vial. Recast it for free. And run out our fairy mechanist. So hopefully we have enough blockers here. I'm not super optimistic about it. <laughs> we might find some sky scanners, start chaining those together. Oh, there's some sky scanners, unfortunately two of them. So play a free sky scanner, draw a card. Storm count is five. <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna leave back um, one of our ethereum sculptors just in case but if we can just get a bit more mana going we might be able to get the rally the peasants kill like if they can't kill us somehow next turn we could be able to kill them with rally the peasants so we just kind of make sure that we don't die here and i don't mind this dying just gargoyle it back draw another card i'm gonna fragmentize mechanist okay sure Tax, 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 tax. We will block and block. We're going to two lightning bolts. So if their hand is exactly two lightning bolts, then you got me, opponent. <laughs> There's no beating that. 
Let's see if they just got the last two bolts in their deck. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, Gorilla Shaman. Okay, that doesn't really matter. Sure. I'm going to blow up the vial, maybe. Nope. All right. Our turn. Um, <laughs> the last Ethereum Sculptor, fairly irrelevant. Um, so we're going to do our cantripping before we start doing anything else. So we'll get down Gargoyle. Gargoyle is going to get Mechanist. It's actually better than Skyscanner here, where we're not um, we're not going to be doing anything but casting all this stuff. Let's so get down Mechanist. Go looking. Maybe we can find another Skyscanner. Nice. Oh, we found another Mechanist. But we don't have any way to cast that and Skyfisher, and I think Skyfisher is just more valuable. So let's do it. It only kills non-creature artifacts. Uh, so we'll sky scanner, draw a card. And it's a pilgrim's eye, not great. Um, so let's sky fisher. I'm a little worried about electricery, of course. Um, so we'll sky fisher back alchemist's vial. <laughs> oh, is this electricery? Gorilla Shaman's gonna blow up the vial, sure. No big deal. So we'll pick up sky scanner, replay sky scanner, draw a card. It's a fairy mechanist, so we'll play an island, play a fairy mechanist, and yeah, like I said, just hope that they don't have electricery. I guess we should get Sanctum Gargoyle just in case they do, or just in case they find it. We'll play a Pilgrim's Eye, and then next turn, we're pretty close to just getting an untapped land here and then winning with Rally the Peasants, Flashback Rally the Peasants. So let's hope we can do that. <sighs> They're going to have to have a lot of stuff to kill it, so I'm going to attack with... Uh, Hmm. I think I'm just going to attack with a Sky Fisher and say go. <laughs> Pass the turn. And I think we might have them. They have two cards in hand. They're going to have to have a lot of answers here. They're going to Galvanic Blast our fit. No! Not like this! <laughs> and just pass. Okay. So play a land. We might as well can't... Well... Okay, so they're going to block here, block here, block here, block here, and then we've got just, like, infinite damage. I think we won. I think we win. Unless they have Prismatic Strands. Prismatic Strands might get them out of this. But we should be able to play enough blockers to get in the way of their board. So I am actually going to go to combat, swing with everything, see if they have Strands. It's a pretty huge blowout if they do, of course. But I don't think they do. And even if they do, like, Prismatic Strands, they would have to blow the whole thing right now. We can get in the way of these by casting some cheap stuff. So I'm going to see if they commit any more blockers. We're already threatening 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I'm just going to rally once here. And I think that's lethal. One, two, three. Yeah, it's got to be, right? Yeah, we got him. We got him. Okay. <laughs> so close, of course. You might be right about the Hydroglass, Terry. But I really don't see what I would bring in for them. All right, we got him. <laughs> Trying to claw our way back into this. <laughs> Oh yeah, they ended up getting Metalcraft or Galvanic Blast there towards the end. I don't know, it all gets kind of blurry. Like, Boros Monarch's boards are insane. But uh, glad to take a couple wins off of them anyway. Pretty crucial for us to, like, get those loops going. And, like, we I think we can outvalue them. Um, yeah, it's a decent hand, not great. But we're going to look a little bit like them. Going to look a little slow. Knowing they have Gorilla Shaman, this could get awkward. So they might... They might cast a Gorilla Shaman. We're going to play Ancient Den. Um, actually, no. I'm going to play Ancient Den next turn, just in case they do have Gorilla Shaman. <laughs> so that we at least get a Prophetic Prism down. And that way we'll ensure that we stay on two mana for a little while. Yep. Prophetic Prism, sure. Uh, it's, it's a little awkward, but... We're trying our best here. <laughs> Prophetic Prism will draw a card, pass the turn. And are they going to play their own Skyfisher? Probably. 
It might be real shaman time though, if they have it. We don't run a ton of removal for it, sure. It's gonna blow up one of our artifact lands. Doesn't really matter. And Gorilla Shaman would matter, of course. Um, so we'll play Ancient Den, play Skyfisher, picking up Prophetic Prism, just where we're able to stay on two mana for a little while. Like we've got our we've got our lands. So if they want to fragmentize our artifact lands for a minute, then we should be okay. Of course, we don't want them to find Gorilla Shaman. Yeah, they're gonna kill Skyfisher, sure. Yeah, so we did we did manage to win. We've taken a game off of Boros Monarch twice, which is saying a lot because I think it's our worst matchup. I have Echoing Truth in the side. I don't think Echoing Truth is particularly good, but I have Echoing Truth in the sideboard just to fight against them. So it could have been worse. You know, Skyfisher back their prism, sure. And I really wish I could just I think I have to cast Sky Scanner here. I wish I could be a little more risk averse and stop committing artifact lands, but if uh, if we can get them here, <laughs> if we can just fade a Gorilla Shaman for a minute, we might be okay. Opponent's going to Prism, sure. And attack, free attack pretty much. They gain a lot more life than we do as well, which could be an issue. Ooh, Firebolt. I like Firebolt. Firebolt's a good spell. And we're just going to keep casting Sky Scanners, I guess. So we'll cast Sky Scanner. The, there have been nutty draws. Nothing nothing too uh, too spicy, but there have been nutty draws. So we'll go up to five mana next turn. I'm going to protect one of my artifact lands here. Um, oh, discarding a hand size. That's awkward. And we'll pass. Um, I'm going to pitch Tranquil Cove. If we, ugh, maybe, maybe I shouldn't pitch a land. I think I'm going to pitch a Prism. Hopefully they can't take care of our other one um, once we actually get it down. Probably should have been Tranquil Cove there, honestly. So they're going to pick up Prophetic Prism, you know, play some birds, draw some cards, do what they do. We're going to play Fairy Mechanist, try to get one of our Ethereum Sculptors out of our deck. It must feel bad journeying a Sky Scanner. That's what you got to do with your life. They can flash this back to kill them as well. Ooh, Fragmentizes a land. Okay. Opponent recognizing that getting up to four mana is important to us. Um, so we can just play out another land, and we'll Mechanist here. Um, I might want to Sanctum Gargoyle back a land, actually. Yeah, so I think I'm going to Mechanist anyway. If we can if we can hit Ethereum Sculptor... Oh, the whiffs! The whiffs! I imagine it could be worse. Okay, so we'll pass. I imagine this is going to eat a Firebolt next turn. Looking kind of awkward. We just didn't find our Accelerators. We've seen quite a few cards. No Accelerators yet. Opponent has two cards in hand. Well, three cards, I guess. I imagine one of them is a land. Flashing back Firebolt to kill Mechanist, and in come the beats. Yep. So we're just going to keep doing what we do. Um, I'll use this opportunity to play a tap land and run out Sanctum Gargoyle, a decent blocker, but not a great one, especially because it dies so good to Lightning Bolt. Uh, we'll get back Fairy Mechanist. That's going to be a lot more valuable to us next turn. Oh yeah, I cry every time. Um, we'll tackle Sky Scanner. We're getting a little close to burn range here. Like that's that's kind of how we've got got by Monarch is getting burned out. Lightning Bolt on Gargoyle incoming. Yep, two cards in hand. Gorilla Shaman. There goes our artifact land. Not really a big deal. One card in our opponent's hand. Hopefully nothing too serious. And they're going to pass. Okay, so we're just going to play out Mechanist here. And there's really no reason to run out artifact lands, especially where they can just blow them up for one mana. <laughs> so because it's not immediately useful, I think I'm just going to Chancery back an island here. And I will double block their Skyfisher if they attack with the next turn. So we're just going to do it like this. And uh, yeah, hope we can uh, hope we can take it somehow. Ooh, they found another Firebolt. That's so bad for us. <laughs> yep, opponent drawn like gods. Opponent's drawing like gods tonight. And we're in dangerously close to dead range now. But they are hellbent. They only have to do two. So they only have to do three next turn to kill us. 
um, which means we're probably going to be chump blocking. We can't play two sky. Oh, we can. Okay, so let's play two sky scanners. <laughs> um, and yeah, and hope they can't get us that way. There's another mechanist. Unfortunately, we can't do anything with it. So we'll cast another sky scanner, hoping to trade everything with this, so that when we cast this, oh, I guess this can this can be good next turn. We're just gonna pass. Ooh, Glintock. That might be too good. Glintock will get back Prism. And we'll replay Prism, draw some cards. They only have to do three damage and they win. I guess if they tap below five mana, then they can't win, but... <laughs> because five main deck removal spells, I think they were, I think they might be down on Sentinels and Battle Screeches for that reason. Yeah, all right. Okay, so we're going to block, 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 take one. Go to four, and we're dead to Galvanic. I mean, if Galvanic Blast is what they have in hand, then good for them. They already have their flashback Firebolt shenanigans or whatever. I don't I don't think we're in good shape here, gang. <laughs> um, we're at four. They have to do two to kill us. So we have to like somehow commit three blockers, which I just don't think we can do. I guess like Echoing Truth could do it. Echoing Truth could save us for a second, but we'd have to draw it off of like our first Alchemist Vial. So Alchemist Vial kind of counts as a blocker. Let's run, <laughs> let's run out Alchemist Vial. I guess they can they can't blow it up right now. Pilgrim's Eye, that's not gonna do it, I don't think. So we're gonna keep digging to something that might do it. Echoing Truth can save us for a second. But we didn't find Echoing Truth, so I think I think this is gonna be a gang. Time for the spoopums. Scoopums up. Alright, so Boros Monarch got two matches on us. But we still took games. So um, so this is another awkward one. But like I said, if we draw our accelerators, we should be okay. So I'm going to keep hoping to draw accelerators off of these two bad boys. I didn't get eaten by a sand. There was some, uh, some sketchy growling and stuff like that. Boggles. I think we're better at boggles post-board. But we'll see if we can't blow up and get him here. Let's see if we can't do that. Boggles. We don't have any edicts or anything like that. Like, this is definitely an awkward matchup. But we have Prismatic Strands, we have Standard Bears. We could be alright. Solana Ledgewalker? Slippery Boggle Ethereal Armor? That's pretty much it. <laughs> Opponent drawing to creatures. So they don't, they don't run a ton of creatures. Maybe they're suffering from... The inconsistency of the deck. They can't do anything with white mana that I'm afraid of. All right, so another untap land. Pretty welcome. So a prophetic prism. When once you get going, it being free is relevant. Like <laughs> it's we're so slow starting up. That's the issue, right? Like if if boggles boggles can get away, is this like Oran Arlid? I'm not that afraid to see an Oran Arlid. We do have journeys. Like it doesn't have hexproof, right? So that is an eight eight. <laughs> I guess that's relevant. 8 8 first striker, huh? Well, we can't play infinite chump blockers, and we're going to be stuck on three mana. So we're going to play Warden of Evos Isle and hope they just can't kill us with this next turn. And we'll start cantripping, hopefully, find our. <laughs> hopefully, find our out to Oran Arlid sooner than later. But I don't know what their hand could be besides a whole bunch of enchantments. Oui. They're even running the Cartouche of Strength for our Accelerator. Okay. Awkwardness intensifying. <laughs> We're pretty much on top deck journey or lose mode. So they're going to get in. Uh, no way to sequence that any better. <laughs> and another Bogle. They only have two cards in hand. We just draw another Warden, and that's it. <laughs> right? Uh, I think, anyway. Yeah, it does. It still does nine. We can't get two blockers down, so we are dead. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so I think journeys are still bad. I know they have, um, I know they have like, you know, that whole thing going on. So we're gonna take journeys out. They have Oran Arlids, which gives which gives it targets, 
But if we can commit a standard bearer first, um, we can take out one fairy mechanist because uh, maybe we shouldn't. We should probably take out a warden because they might be too slow. They do get our crazy, no, probably Aether Sworn Shield Mage because I doubt they're going to be interacting with us very much. And I'd say Spell Bomb is pretty dead. So we're going to run it like that. Yeah, that was pretty quick, huh? <laughs> you know, I'm just out here trying to make <laughs> trying to make Sky Scanner playable. Don't mind me. Um, yeah, you know, it is what it is. So we'll keep. At least we're on the play this time. Play tap land, pass the turn. We're gonna start cantripping, looking for our standard bearer. Like I might not even commit this Sky Fisher right away. Let's see if they're on the Bogle draw. They found a Bogle. This could be like Utopia Sprawl. No, they got a Boggle. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's hope they're hyper inconsistent and we can do this. <laughs> um, more cantripping artifacts. Be way better with an Ethereum Sculptor. So maybe we'll find one. Hey, what's up, Waltmar Waltzmark? I think I, it's weird, right? Like this is this is an awkward place for me to be. I think we actually have to win quickly because <laughs> we have so few answers. Like I think we have to win with stuff like, um, with stuff like rally the peasants. Because like even though we have a few sparse answers, once things gets a once things get a little crazy like this, um, I am gonna run out. Ooh, there's standard bearer. Okay, once things get a little crazy like this, um, we might not have an opportunity to bounce back. So. But we have standard bearer. That's pretty great against this deck. I don't know if they have. Um, it's it's scanning. You know, it's still looking, still looking for some buds. Opponent not willing to trade this glade cover scout with a standard bearer. Interesting. So we're gonna take three. We'll see if they got a way out of it. I guess Orin Arlet is their way out of it. Um, so maybe they don't have it. Maybe they do. Yeah, finding an early standard bearer pretty important. But they might. They might just have Orin Arlet here. Opponent ramping a bit. We're going to place Core Skyfisher, which is a pretty good blocker. So we will Skyfisher back our Alchemist's file. Pretty decent blocker. Little unfortunate we're not developing our mana base here, but we should be able to do that playing our Sky Scanners and stuff, and these can even start attacking pretty shortly. See if they found a bearer answer. They did not. All right, so let's go. Play... Sky scanner. What a what an embarrassment, you know? All of your stuff replaces itself, so you might have to discard a hand size. Uh, we'll find more alchemist vials. We're not really doing anything. We'll bounce this, and we're just gonna pass. Our sky fisher is doing such a good job holding the board back. No reason to get greedy. We're scanning the skies, man. We are scanning. Turn comes back to us. There's a warden of Evo's Isle. So we will cast that. Cast a cantrip. And attack with a sky scanner. And so this is what I'm saying. Like, so I think I keep Rally the Peasants in because maybe I should have a journey though. Because Orin Arlet is their answer to us. And if we can't get around it somehow, I guess it's even harder for them to commit enchantments now because of the way our board looks. Um, there's another warden. Alright, so let's go crazy. We'll play warden. Um I think like that. Yeah, so we'll play warden. And play Mechanist, do some digging, try to find an Ethereum Sculptor. And we'll just go off now. So we'll play Ethereum Sculptor. Oh, we still have to pay two for it. Bummer. Go to combat, attack with our flyers, and pass the turn. We should have it here. <laughs> as long as they don't find an answer to our stuff, we're just going to start exploding. We have Prismatic Strands back up now, too. So we're gonna do our cantripping. We might, I always do this because I might hit, yeah, more of these bad boys. And I don't think, it, actually, yeah, I shouldn't do this because it's not relevant if we do find a way to prevent damage because they can't block us. And they're probably not doing anything too important. So I might leave up prismatic strands here if I have to. There's a thought cast. Reasons to not leave up prismatic strands. So we'll thought cast. There's a Sanctum Gargoyle, which doesn't currently have a target. But now it will. So we'll do this, play a land, and I'm actually going to just Mechanist here. <laughs> this is wicked. Okay, and we'll play, we'll get Mechanist, and we'll leave up Prismatic Strands just in case our opponent has a fight card for our um, 
a fight card for our standard bearer. And then I think that'll do it. They're pretty much dead here. Nice. <laughs> All right, so stick a standard bearer and win, I think, is the way we're going to do it. I will bring in Journey. I think you're right, Mechibus. Um, <laughs> can go off. <laughs> The going off confirmed. Yeah, it takes a minute. You got to get some stuff going. But once you get the stuff going, should be okay. Oh, I guess Fragmentize should come in. Crap. <laughs> get the Fragmentizes. Take a journey. <laughs> take on a Mechanist. Submit deck. <laughs> got there. Okay. <laughs> See, we did it without one of our key sideboard cards. Um, This is awkward. But, I mean... These vials could draw anything. It could draw a boat. <laughs> so I'm going to keep. <laughs> and just a Utopia Sprawl. Not the scariest start for them. We'll have six. I imagine the answers to Standard Bearer have come in now. Chancery, definitely not one I wanted to see here. So we'll play Ancient Den, pass the turn. Let the cantripping begin. Yep. They're going to have to kill us in really short order, too. We kind of have that advantage. Or an Arledge, sure. Alchemist Vial can take care of that for the moment. Not more lands. We were on 20 lands deck. Like, be a little bit more reasonable, please. Kind of do wish I had that journey now. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Yep. Just a tap land. They're going to attack for three. This takes care of Orin Arledge, so it's not ultra scary. Okay. These aren't auras. Oh, it is auras. Okay. A couple more mana. Here comes an aura. Mm hmm. Really got to find that standard bearer. <laughs> Pretty quick. Uh, there's a fragmentize. I don't really. I don't think it's relevant right this second. It's really unfortunate that we're hitting a bunch of weird stuff that kind of doesn't matter right now, but. As long as it's only attacking for five, it's no big deal, right? It's like Alchemist Vials. Maybe okay. <laughs> is this where our opponent just attacks us for 15? Oh, good. <laughs> Am I dead? Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Jeez. Oh, no land. Sweet. <laughs> we'll have to take one of those lands that, or lists out next week for sure and we have an accelerator about as much as you can ask for and yeah we've got stuff to do with our accelerator so we'll play land awkward not having white mana but it is what it is cavalry drill master that's really cool all right it's delver time here come the counter spells so we'll see if they got just a bolt for this straight away Hopefully they don't. Hopefully they also don't flip this Delver blind. Come on. Delver luck. Delver luck. Thank you. Thank you, Delver luck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Rejuvenator Tron. That's really cool. Um, yeah, some others identified, um, identified the... Uh, we're going to Fairy Mechanist here because that just makes... Hmm, I kind of want a Warden... But Mechanist makes the rest of our draws better. Mechanist might just draw us into something we can't cast. Just a little awkward. It might find us a Prophetic Prism, or it might find us white mana. So I actually think it's worth it here. They can't hard counter, so not worried about it. And it's a 2-2 flyer, so it can get in the way of that Delver. Prophetic Prism. Perfect. All right, so we'll pass the turn. Hopefully we're able to resolve our Prophetic Prism. I'm going to leave back this Sculptor, because if they have a removal spell for this, it gives them an out to uh, Ninja with this. Kind of weird that they they didn't have a removal spell or like a cantrip last turn, but I guess they're going to go into Brainstorm into Flip Delver here. So glad we're going to have a good turn next turn about it. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Let's go Spread Delver. We're actually going to try to outvalue them. We're going to try to keep ninjas off the board for as long as possible and then kill our opponent. And like I said, all of our stuff goes, or most of our stuff goes over Spell Stutter Sprite. Pretty happy to only see them with one red source here. Most of our stuff goes over Spell Stutter Sprite. Oh, they have hard counter. Good to know. 
Um, and but they can't attack with this if they don't have a removal spell. Yeah. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> Incoming the no fun times, gang. <laughs> you gonna ninja off this? Oh, that would be that would be insult to injury. We actually need this prophetic prism to resolve like crazy, so that might dictate how we play this next turn. Um, yeah. So we're actually gonna run out a warden here. It blocks Delver, and it might bait out the counter spell. Um, because we need this prophetic prism to resolve. Yep, Delver doing what Delver does. They are gonna counter that, so that's actually not the worst news for us. We'll get in some beats with Ethereum Sculptor. Most of our deck can block Delver, so. We'll see if they can get the value train running before we can Prophetic Prism. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> it's Spell Stutter Sprite time. Ah, which means I think I have to try to cast another Warden here. I guess I could try to cast Alchemist File. Like, fogging this for a turn isn't the end of the world, and they might try to counter it. Uh, they might try to counter that, too. So I'm going to try to Alchemist File here. We'll see if we can get the spell stutter. Oh, yes. Okay, good. So we got spell stutter. That's good. So now we can cast another Ethereum Sculptor, cast Prophetic Prism for free, and if we're really lucky today, we'll find an untapped land. And we're not that lucky today. Um, this only costs two less, unfortunately, so we can't run that out right now. And Delver Beats incoming. Two cards in our opponent's hand. A bit of counter magic taken care of. Like I said, it would be really unfortunate if they got a ninja down here, but gotta do what you gotta do. We should have blockers for it from here on in. So opponent gonna ponder, probably trying to do exactly that. They might not know what yeah, they don't know what other color we are, so maybe they didn't think Prophetic Prism was that important. Two cards in our opponent's hand. Fairy Miscreant gonna keep drawing. And now they can counter all of our stuff. Pretty awkward. With spell stutters, that is. So I guess even ideally here, they do ninja. <laughs> Don't leave up any interaction. But they're not going to, of course. We find another land. Not the worst. So we'll play a land. And let's try to get a two mana Sanctum Gargoyle down here. So Sanctum Gargoyle. It's a good blocker. It might bait out counter magic because we can just get Skyfisher down after this, pick up our Prophetic Prism, Cantrip again. It's also a decent blocker. Yep, there's Spell Stutter Sprite. Nothing we can do about that. And let's see if they can counter our Skyfisher with one mana. <laughs> oh, we can't because we tapped out a white mana. I'm a dummy. Okay, well, we're probably dead. I'm not really a dummy. I was baiting. So go ahead. Do they just have us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess they got us with Bolt. Let's see what they reveal off Augur. And Scred. Not Lightning Bolt, crucially, but I think we're dead here. <laughs> we can't really commit enough flying blockers, and they had kind of just the right combination of Spell Stutter Sprites and Fairy Miscreants to get around us. So I think that's going to probably be it. Hmm. So they have a scred. They can remove one blocker. We're at two. Um, yeah, we just don't have enough blockers to fight through it, even if we can start getting stuff out. Because I think if I resolve Warden, everything else still just costs one colored mana. So that's that's kind of be it. Because we'd have to commit six blockers <laughs> somehow. I guess we should try to cantrip once. We what if we find what if we find some sky scanners? We're not really giving them any more information. And there's a chance. <laughs> there is a chance. If they counter this, there isn't a chance. But. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Cool. So I think we're going to bring in our serrated arrows. And that's probably about it, really. We shouldn't be that bad against Delver. Like, I feel like having this many flyers and this much value, we should be able to overdo them. Like... We just get a quick start like I'm hoping for. Quick start like I've been waiting for. We might be able to do it. So let's hope we can do that. Record looking a little daunting. <laughs> we will play first. 
Um, yep, one lander. Can't do that. And another awkward mana draw. Hopefully we can sneak our Prophetic Prism through in a null here. Sanctum Gargoyle, probably not what we're looking to be doing. We just want Accelerators here, so we'll bottom that. And a little nervous about a Gorilla Shaman, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And tap this. Good. Well, they scryed. How did they scry? On top. So they're gonna flip this Delver next turn. They might flip it off of counter magic, which is gonna make next turn pretty awkward, but I think I have to come into Ethereum Sculptor. We're not here to frig around and hope our opponent has it all the time. <laughs> We're just gonna try to win with Ethereum Sculptors and Cantrips. They didn't flip, so they must have bottomed or they must have topped something fairly important. Looks like they're going on the double Delver draw. Um, but that might give us an opportunity to kind of get away with this. So we'll try to resolve a Prophetic Prism. It comes in. Sweet. There's a Warden. Can't do anything with that right now. Got another Cantrip down. Another Skyfisher. Also not really what we're looking for, but it ain't nothing. Opponent doesn't crack. They're going to get it some card selection here with their Delvers. Ooh, they flip off of a Ponder, so they won't be shuffling today. Yikes. Double flip Delver. <laughs> Yep, we're in trouble. So they got Ponder Shuffle here. Mm -hmm. Here come the Delver Beats. At least we can try to run a Core Skyfisher in the way of one, but they might Ponder into a Removal Spell for it here, at which point we're in Scoop City. Hard to beat a couple Flip Delvers. I swear to God, I won matches with this deck. <laughs> and I will attest to how fun it is. And I think our opponent might have an Annul, which is, of course, bad news for us. So we will get a Skyfisher down because it can block a Delver. Um, I don't think there's any reason to bounce a land here. We might have to do that next turn. We're not going to Alchemist Vile anything. We're dangerously close to being dead. <laughs> Send a message by attacking with the Sculptor. <laughs> And yeah, let's see. Let's see how our opponent goes. I think this will be red mana for removal spell for Skyfisher. Yep. No, maybe not. Augur looking for that removal spell? Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, of course. Okay, so we're going to take six down to eight in a very dangerous position against a Lightning Bolt deck. And yeah, so we're going to Skyfisher, back a land, replay the land, cast an Alchemist Vial. <laughs> Gotta prove I mean serious business. Um, but again, just another awkward draw. It's uh it's yeah, it's how she goes some days. We we have a chance, like our opponent has to have absolutely nothing. <laughs> for us to kind of win through this um, but they can do four damage as it stands and like i said they're a lightning bolt deck and i think we're about a removal spell away from losing <laughs> yep auger gonna look for a removal spell and auger whiff well it ain't nothing gang they're gonna gush <laughs> continue looking for a removal spell see if they found it that's a lot of cards drawn they're going to preordain. Oof. Our opponent just, like, doing it all. Two cards on bottom. Did they find it? Did you find the bolt? It doesn't look like it, so will you attack? I guess they, they can stand to wait until they do find it. Don't really know why. I don't really understand the attack with the auger here, but... So we'll go to blocks. Maybe they, have, they want to scred the Ethereum Sculptor. Pretty obvious we're doing bad for mana here. <laughs> but we're going to get a Fairy Mechanist down next turn, and who knows? Who knows? Maybe we can bounce back. So we'll play land, play a Fairy Mechanist. Hope our opponent keeps whiffing on removal spells. Uh, what does untap land let us do? Pretty much nothing. Just cast another mechanism next turn. So we'll get a prophetic prism. We might draw into untap land so that we can mechanist. The play could have been warden there, so that we could have played two mechanists this turn, but the idea was to trade it off with this insectal aberration. So 
Well, if we can get this off the board. <laughs> Come on, let's take one game off of everybody. I think Cantrip Hell is about to start here, though. Given they did, they did do a fair bit of that. Herd counter is a little tumultuous. <laughs> here comes the attacks. Okay, sure. So we will block and block. Take one, down to four. Like I said, things are tumultuous. <laughs> Delver, okay. I'm gonna pass with spell stutter up. It's a journey. No one mana flyers in our deck. I'm going for five, ten, and oh five. You gotta have you gotta have dreams, right? Um so I don't know if it's Warden here. If it's Warden, then we gotta hope they don't flip this. But it does let us have a better turn next turn. We would have to block, block, take one. Down to the Lightning Bolt range. Also not good. If we Journey this, block this, we'll go to Lightning Bolt range. I, I, don't, I think we just have to whiff on the Lightning Bolt. And hope. They can't spell stutter this. I don't know about any counter that can get it. Like, we can't get a null tier or anything. Um, and this can get in the way of a flip Delver, at least. And next turn, we'll still have an out to getting another blocker down and continuing to hope that they don't have <laughs> the heckin' removal or the heckin' lightning bolt. They've been looking for it. And like I said, hoping that they don't have the heck and lightning bolt. Not an awesome place to be. <laughs> Maybe our opponent is completely unaccepting of the jank right now. <laughs> I don't really know. Warden of Eos Isle on the stack. Gonna see what our opponent thinks. <laughs> I want I want my I want my game win here. At four against a lightning bolt deck. About to go to three. And they might be realizing they don't have to do anything. They can just like let this resolve and counter something that doesn't matter, or like they don't even have to remove anything. They might think we have some two mana stuff, but and no attacks. Pass the turn. Spell stutter, sure. So that will allow them to do two. <laughs> don't call it a comeback. We all know how dangerous it is to call it a comeback. I think our opponent is hoping to ninja this. Um. So I am going to block it. So we go to blocks. Block like this. Block like this. Electricery obviously really sucks. Even these getting ninja is bad. Rat 2, do you have a lightning bolt? Where is it? <laughs> Show me the lightning bolt. No lightning bolt. Stormbound Geist. Okay, that doesn't really matter. Because we have this journey. It is going to make our next turn a little worse. Um, so we'll play our untap land. We will journey the Stormbound Geist. Journey the Stormbound Geist. See if we can't find another Ethereum Sculptor off of this Fairy Mechanist. Whee. Just another Mechanist. Not, not the worst. We're bottoming some useful stuff. Play Sky Scanner, and I'm still not going to attack. I feel like, well... I guess we have blocker blocker and worst case well they might have two removal spells they also might just have two bolts oh, i don't know this is awkward um i think i am going to attack with warden we're not going to win by just standing staying back here so i am going to attack like this and hopefully don't call it a comeback <laughs> hopefully our opponent doesn't find a lightning bolt Reasons why Pyroblast should, or Hydroblast should come in against Lightning Bolt decks becoming very apparent. <laughs> Our opponent improving their odds of spell stuttering something, and they might choose not to attack here. They don't. Okay, cool. So we will play an untap land. We will Mechanist, try to find another Sculptor. Can't spell stutter this opponent. Although I'm sure you'd like to. I guess I could Pyroblast it. Did they bring in Pyroblast? All right, sure. Um, in that case, we'll Skyscanner. Hold up, Skyscanner only costs one mana. 
<laughs> and they might have null this. No, it doesn't look like it. No, we get a Skyfisher. That only costs one. Um, so we will Skyfisher. Mm, back Alchemist Vial, probably. Oh, they're in a spell stutter. Okay, sure. So we will Prophetic Prism for white, just in case we draw another Sculptor. Draw Warden, that's not doing anything, so we'll play Prism. And it looks like we're just gonna have to pass here. Like I said, I don't want to go get to the point. They only have one card in hand, and, and we're at two. Like, come on. <laughs> just don't have the friggin' <laughs> the lightning bolt. I need this. I need this for my soul and my heart and my body. <laughs> they only some decks run more screds than bolts. Like I know that they occasionally only run seven red spells. Um so maybe they only have three lightning bolts, which gives us a little bit more of an opportunity to come back here, but we have to get way more explosive than we have. They're on spell stutter X3 here. They don't shuffle. They're gonna preordain to dig a bit deeper. That'll be the end of their cantripping for now, unless they found a gush, of course. And do you put lightning bolt on the stack opponent? Gonna make me wait a little bit for wasting your time, huh? With my jank. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> and bolt FT dub. No, they're just gonna scred the Ethereum Sculptor, which is probably best case Ontario here. Is bolt the other card in your hand? <laughs> Are they trying to are they trying to make a point here? <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. Okay, so we'll pass over. There's a journey. Let's cycle secluded step first. We find a vial. Okay, play a land. A vial for one. Oops, sorry for punching the mic there again. Getting a little aggro. Oh yeah, they killed sculptor, right? So we'll vial for two, actually. I draw a land deck. Buddy. <laughs> You're making it real hard to combo off here, man. Um, let's back that up a little bit. Uh, I think I have to start attacking, but like it's just so awkward. I think we'll attack with Mechanist here and just see how our opponent reacts. Of course we're at two. This is like real weak to like trickery or anything like that. All right, so they go to 15. We will play warden and i think i'm just going to try to journey the spell stutter the less flyers they have the more likely we are to take this and i don't know like i don't think they'll have an opportunity to get a ninja down i guess they would have to have uh like scred to do it or like something fairy miscreant gonna drop a card do you find the lightning bolt for the win <laughs> it's tense gang it's tense we're not going to force any blocks. We really got to combo off here. Alchemist Vial, huh? So we'll Tranquil Cove, gain a life. They can counter Alchemist Vial, so I wonder if they have another Spell Stutter. That would obviously kind of suck. Doesn't look like they have counter magic. We keep drawing lands. <laughs> Deck, please. Um, and I'll attack with Mechanist, and that's probably it. I want to have four blockers so that if they're going to cast a ninja, they have to hard cast it. They don't want to trade off with the Mechanist. Oh, man. We're, like, close to a Rally the Peasants win here. <laughs> Electricery is not even a disaster because we can start sacking Alchemist Vials. And I could actually Skyfisher back this journey to get a better target if they do eventually find their ninja. Oh, my God, Dak, please. <laughs> okay, so let's go to combat, and we'll just attack with Mechanist. Put them to 11. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And, yeah, hopefully we can use these to eventually attack for lethal somehow. They've got a lot of cards in hand. Like, I'm starting to get a little bit worried. I'm going to hold on to my lands for a second. I know our combo turns can get a little wild. Maybe I should play one out. Especially where some of our stuff will still be expensive. They found the lightning ball. Nothing we can do about it. Dang. Dang, gang. <laughs> Raced Lynn Helmy. Welcome. Welcome to the Jank Bank. We're about to die to Delver. I'm just going to do one last check, make sure there's nothing we can do, and there it is. <laughs> we probably have to go all in somehow. Like, we probably have to add um, cantrips and stuff to try to find our Ethereum sculptors earlier. But you heard me say that 
we needed a you heard me say that we needed accelerators we've got an accelerator we've got a cantrip and we've got something to cast on turn three so let's go let's do it we can even buy back our sculpture with this worst case ontario so the fragment 77 up against them evolving wilds to start we'll start with the seat of the synod see what they go get this is probably pretty this is high on my list of evolving wilds art i like this one a lot go sculptor pilgrim's eye or sculptor then if they don't kill it we can do these two things we have rally to maybe eke out a win early red mana hmm is this maybe the rags to riches deck maybe we really need like this to hang out and i feel like against mountain it's a little problematic but we would then have to resolve a sanctum gargoyle around it all right opponents on a red green could be good news for us i have beat ye old cascade aggro with this deck Ooh, bte starts it's always scary no matter how many cards our opponent has in hand and it looks like we're playing cascade aggro all right let's go let's do it um so we'll play land play ethereum sculptor pretty happy to have this journey for when they're high impact three twos and stuff come down if uh if any of the stuff they have that's reliant on double color costing comes down that could be relevant we could use like journeys and stuff to get rid of them and we're gonna play a pretty good blocker for their two twos here next not next turn the turn after <laughs> frenzy goblin gonna fog us out pretty cool pretty cool card we'll see if they have a rancor or anything just two more cards in hand we might be able to stave them off just long enough um so yeah so this turn we're going to go prophetic prism draw a card i'd rather resolve a sky scanner than a pilgrim's eye but could be worse opponent's gonna go fetching another red source i'd assume yep and we find sky fisher that's probably even better actually so we will tap our prophetic prism for white play sky fisher pick up prophetic prism and pass the turn probably should have held on to my lands there i wonder if they have a pump spell they're probably not going to yeah <laughs> yeah so opponent on four lands two cards in hand they got frenzy goblin to falter our sky fisher for the moment but we're going to be able to play another two three Oh, I went directly to combat. Well, that's okay. I had no plans. <laughs> I'm just trying to catch them off guard, you know? So we'll play a land. We can still Sanctum Gargoyle after the Prophetic Prism. Maybe getting another blocker down is just more important. Um, maybe just like journeying this. I think that's actually what I'm going to do. But then we won't be able to play gargoyle right we could like journey this play pilgrim's eye block one of these i think that's actually what i'm gonna do so we will journey frenzy goblin and run out pilgrim's eye go get a land for next turn we'll get some more white mana because we're a little choked on that right now got our prophetic prism for our rally the peasants when that matters Got a couple blockers. See how explosive they can be. This is also a lightning bolt deck, <laughs> which is relevant for sure. This is the awkward Sanctum Gargoyle, like when you're not playing against an interactive deck. There's the outburst, and they get a they get a haste creature. We've got blockers for them. Yep, 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 yep. Mountain was the only thing on top before the Mud Brawler cohort. Oh, it's a three two. They all are three twos. They're gonna trade with our Skyfisher. That kind of sucks. But I don't think I'm living in a world where I can't. Oh, they're a lightning bolt deck. So I actually think I have to chump here as well. Kind of sucks. Mm hmm. But we can just get that back with Sanctum Gargoyle. And I guess just commit more blockers to the board next turn. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, so play a land. Um, but I think it's actually, yeah, we just want more blockers. Yeah, so we'll gargoyle, 
get back our Pilgrim's Eye, and that leaves us good for a couple of double blocks. Which, I mean, obviously isn't ideal. But, <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So we'll get back Pilgrim's Eye, thin our deck a little bit too, which is kind of relevant. Go get a land, and just hope they can't kill us. Why are we always in this position where we're like dying to a couple of lightning bolts all the time? <laughs> we might as well get our red mana back now. Well, we can, and we're going to leave this back. We have enough mana that we can do effectively what we want to do. Um, so a double block with Pilgrim's Eye and Ethereum Sculptor doesn't seem too bad. Two cards in our opponent's hand. This is where a Violent Outburst is really good. What's up, Hungry Nerd? How you doing? Welcome to the Janku Banku. We're just trying to eke out a match here. <laughs> we're just trying to have get a match win against, uh, against Cascade Aggro. I have beat them in testing. We just, we really, like, an explosive draw would be excellent. We haven't, we've only seen a couple tonight. I'd love to see a couple more. All right, opponent. What have you got? Two cards in hand. Could be any combination of haste creatures, violent outbursts, lands. They're going to bolt the gargoyle. Okay. Sure. And we will double block here. Take two. Opponent has one card in hand. We don't want to see Ethereum Sculptor go, but there's not a lot we can do about that. Hopefully we find another one off of Fairy Mechanist, and this will get another attacker off the board. Welcome to the Jank Bank Aruda 2002. How are you doing tonight? Welcome, 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 welcome. So we'll play land for, for our Mechanist. Really should have left up some white mana there. Really, really, really should have left up some white mana there. But... It is what it is. So we'll play Mechanist. Um, I guess we can't find any white artifacts here. And uh, yeah, we can't Skyscanner. We can Prophetic Prism. We're going to have to trade Mechanist with Rip Clan Crasher here. So hopefully this is a two for one and they don't find a way around it. Uh, yeah, another Sanctum Gargoyle is just swell. So we'll play out Prophetic Prism. This gargoyle can get back. An oh, another Ethereum Sculptor. Okay, guys. All right, we might be turning the corner here. I'm gonna leave back both blockers, um, just in case they have some kind of like situational removal spell for this, and they can uh, they can get a couple of haste creatures down and win. So we're gonna go straight to combat. Yep. In comes the Crasher. We'll block with Mechanist, and now we have to win in real short order with this Rally the Peasants. But we're gonna get a lot of our board back next turn. BTE. One card in hand. I don't know what that card could be. Border post. Okay. Sweet. So our opponent is hellbent. We are again in that awkward position of hoping they don't have any lightning bolts, <laughs> which obviously is a pretty bad place to be. So we'll play Sculptor. We'll play Gargoyle, getting back Gargoyle, and then next turn we'll be able to um, Skyscanner, or sorry, Gargoyle, get back Sculptor. And uh, and then Skyscanner for one. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> it's real fun, Vanilla James. It doesn't win a whole lot, as you can see by the record, but it is definitely fun. <laughs> I will give it the definitely fun 80% of the time rating. Um, all right, so we're going to cast a three mana Sanctum Gargoyle here. Get back our other Gargoyle. Yep and cast a vial and just hope our opponent doesn't have enough attackers to get out of this Ooh, we find a seed of the sign that's interesting but i think we'll just commit a tap land here while we have the chance and pass turn no life gain lands to bounce there a little awkward curd ape yep doesn't really matter what's up Glad to be able to at least catch the last bit of the stream. I'll watch it on YouTube later, though. Seems like odds haven't been in our favor. Um, the matchups, so we ran into two Boros Monarch, which I think is the worst matchup for this deck. Um, we got got by Boggles once, um, but we also got Boggles and Boros Monarch for a game each. So I'm kind of happy that at least it, this deck got to draw correctly. People would be able to see that. Um, and against like decks like this, like I think we just have too much value for them to like save themselves like we'll just we're going to explode out onto the board this turn and then hopefully that's just too much for our opponent to deal with so we will gargoyle back our ethereum sculptor make sure i do this correctly wow these cards are small huh yep we'd love to do that 
and we'll play out our sculptor play out a mechanist for two rally in hand so we're pretty close to just winning oh we whiffed on the mechanist the worst glad i did not sky scanner first though so we will now sky scanner we've got one color of each of our mana and core sky fisher can't cast it just yet but we could next turn and i am going to attack with one of these uh, i think i'll attack with both of these i don't really see why i wouldn't so we'll attack with both of these try to get our opponent down about as far as we can and then i think next turn we can win with rally because we give all of our flyers plus four plus four so i think i think that'll be it so long as they don't have two bolts and they can't have two bolts <laughs> yep haste creature and they scoop it up all right so hydroblast will come in um yeah that's i guess prismatic strands are probably pretty good too so we'll take out spell bomb we'll take out one mechanist we will take out probably rally the pheasants i think we can just win without it like they're definitely the beat down and we're trying to be more controlling um and i can i'm gonna maybe i'll go down another i'll go down a warden because we don't really have to combo off once we get a couple of those they're not interacting with them in any meaningful way so that's okay and i think i think hydroblasts are just more efficient than journeys so i might be able to get away with one of those thank you very much for the 100 bits gruda i appreciate that man yeah no that's amazing <laughs> thanks yes let's win this match let's get that game win up there to just really you know rally to rally back here um and maybe shield mage isn't that relevant because we're not trying to push through damage we can do that with prismatic strands but having multiple copies of prismatic strands probably is okay shield mage is a bit awkward uh maybe this isn't maybe this is like too slow though i guess if we remove all their creatures and counter their lightning bolts we should be okay so let's do it like that and they get to go on the play which is kind of terrifying <laughs> this deck's a little weird in that it's hard to find your land drops on time sometimes not going to be an issue this game and luckily we'll have turn one hydroblast going on awkward hand otherwise but we can kind of develop our mana looking for better removal as the turns go on and i could this might be one of those matchups where getting a sky fisher down at a loss could be okay just where it's such a good attacker and our opponent has to Ooh, they're on five yeah skyfisher definitely coming down early definitely coming down early there's well maybe not now all right so there's frenzy goblin we're just going to play our blue source and pass the turn see if they give us anything to hydroblast if we see a um if we see a burning tree come down i think this will end up getting snapped off and we can just take our time developing our mana now opponent stuck on the reds here comes frenzy goblin no reason to be too hasty about this there's going to be spells that matter a lot more than this frenzy goblin there's a journey for when that matters so we'll play tranquil cove i will be kind of okay sky fishing back at tranquil cove in a couple turns but i'll probably just chancery it back next turn and uh, hold this up like i said burning tree is what we're going to counter if we see that come down and uh, we'll just keep hopefully drawing into interactive magic I like that too about this deck like if we run into stompy or burn we can kind of move into the control deck i think that's pretty valuable getting a few lag spikes um have you guys have you guys suffered from any drop frames i don't know why that might have happened and i'm really sorry about that that's uh that's unfortunate it could just be a spotty internet tonight because of the awkward weather so yeah sorry about the the potential dropped frames um yeah do we have to discard a hand size if we don't do something all right so i actually think i am going to skyfisher back uh i might want to get tranquil cove <laughs> the life game might be relevant but i guess we have azorius chancery to at least get one bounce of tranquil cove here our opponent might just bolt this which would obviously suck we can counter it with our hydroblast which i probably will so they're not going to bolt it okay sure okay no that's perfect donald k magic thank you thank you for reporting in yeah i'm not sure maybe it all kind of happened at once everything looks good on my end i don't know if maybe it was my pc maybe i have something open that i shouldn't but everything looks good on my end so yeah i'm not sure what happened there so we will pass see what our opponent wants to do we're taking our time here almost to a fault probably their hand is filling up and undoing their mulligan still stuck on green mana so i got to imagine they have some of those two color creatures they're going to be able to falter our sky fisher with an attack but we'll start returning the favor 
very shortly. Yep. Mm -hmm. And turn comes back to us. Hmm. You know what? I can't imagine why I wouldn't journey this here. Like, our opponent, they'll probably have better creatures, but while we still have the opportunity to counter a Burning Tree Emissary when they try to use that to start getting going, we'll be happy this is out of the way so that our blockers matter. I could have just discarded an artifact card to hand size to, like, get these Sanctum Gargoyles value, but you really want to uh, get back, like, a Pilgrim's Eye that chumped or something. All right, opponent, what have you got? Mud Brawler Cohort, sure. I'm not going to counter that. Don't think that's relevant. They're going to Flame Slash. I am going to counter that. Maybe they have more removal, but... And they scooped the match. So we did it, guys. 